Hey everyone, welcome back to Knit and Spin for Fun podcast. I'm Kirsten, also known as Knit and Spin for Fun on Robbery. And I'm back to recording every week. I'm sorry I haven't been recording for a couple of weeks. I've been sick, um, there's been a lot of traveling, and just, just been very busy, and plus my health has been down the drain this um, past summer. So, that's why I haven't been recording, so thank you you everyone who been, who's been understanding so thank you so I have a lot to talk about because I haven't showed you basically anything the past couple of weeks so I'm just going to show you everything that I've done so I want to start with thank yous like I get like I said again I want to thank you everyone for understanding that I haven't been recording and I also want to thank um, Dark Kitty Knits and her mom from the Muffin Meg and Me podcast for gifting me the My Wish pattern by Laura Lemon. So, thank you. Because that was actually my first time someone gifted me a pattern. So, thank you. So, um, I was going to start off with works in progress. So, let me put my notes up here. Okay, so, first work, the only work in progress that I have is the My Wish doll because the minute um, the minute um, Dark King Nits and her mom uh, gifted me the pattern, I ma- immediately cast it on. So it's called the My Wish. So I lowered it in. It's not doing a great um, picture on the camera, but this search this search in Ralvery and you'll see it. And so the two yarns that I'm using, because you have to alternate the two um, colors in this pattern is the Dublin Orville Sock Yarn, my favorite, and um, the Vilos colorway and the Charcoal. So I'll show you that. And they're both very pretty yarn for a cheap amount of money, like $3.99 a skein. And it has like bamboo um, and merino in it. So those are the two colors. And what I have so far, I started this like two days ago, is this. And it's totally my colors. So, and you see how there's like three spines? When I first started the pattern, I first started reading it, I was like unsure on like the pattern, how she wrote it, she says slips the stitches. I'm like, slipping the stitches. I was <laughs> really unsure on how to do that because I never really done like a carrying a slip stitch throughout the pattern before. Only like on a sweater, like you know how we knit a sweater, you just slip the first stitch so you have a nice clean edge. But anyways, I really like it. Super easy and simple. So, and, um, so yeah, this might be done maybe this upcoming week. I do have school. Um, I did start school last Thursday, um, so I've been super busy. My teachers gave me tons of work, like completing two days, so it was kind of crazy, but I got done. So, and that's knit on a size US 6 4.0, and again, double normal sock yarn and the Vilos and charcoal colorway. So, that's the only works in progress that I have. Again, like I said, I usually just I want to work in progress all the time. Okay, so uh, now for finished objects. Um, while, dur- while during the summer, during July, I've been wanting to make the Dinner in the Eiffel Tower shawl. And that's by Jesse Dewington. I had the pattern in my big pattern pile over on my desk, but I don't want to search through it. I'll just put it down so notes so you can see it in Ralvery. And I've been wanting to make this shawl for about maybe two months. So ever since um, starting of maybe May, I don't know. But I've really been enjoying the pattern. Um, I am make I did make this for my best friend. She's an elderly friend. Um, she was my tutor back in the second grade, and she's still my best friend. And her birthday is on September 11th. And so every year I make her something and she enjoys everything and then she makes something for me too. She's a painter and an editor and a sewer so she knows how to take care of hand and items. 
So the um, yarn that I used for the shawl is the Karen Simply Soft in the um, Lights, Karen Simply Soft Light in the Hawaiian Breeze colorway. And it looks like this. It's super pretty. It blocked out really nice. I really like the ruffly edge. In the pattern, it didn't really say, um, in the pattern, it didn't look like there was a ruffle edge, but when I blocked this out, it came out to be ruffly edge. But it's really nice. I know that she's going to like it. So I'll just stand up and show you what it looks like. So it's very nice, and it will, like, you can put a little shawl pin right here. So it's really nice. And really soft, too. So I really like it how that came out. So, yay. I will, um, I will be putting up all of my projects up on Ravelry this upcoming week, so you can see all the details and stuff, so. Because I've been slacking on that stuff this summer, so. Because, again, I've been sick lately with health problems, nothing too serious, like colds and stuff, and really bad ear infection, a really bad ear infection, um, like two and a half weeks ago, and I could not hear anything. It was throbbing, and it was awful. And so anyways, besides that, let's get on to more finished objects. So the second finished object I have is Bot Bites by Jenna Kapoor from the, um, to Roman Studios podcast. Um, I don't have Bot Bites here with me because it's in my mom's car because she, I always make her something little to carry around with her in her car every year. So I um, made that on the size, let me see, my show notes are right here. So if I'm looking that way because they're right there. I knit, I knit that on the size US 6, 4.0 millimeter and a Cascade 220 and scraps for the feet. So. Another finished object that I have is a Raglan baby sweater for, I don't know who the um, designer is, I almost said author, what? <laughs> but this Raglan baby sweater is for my cousin's baby, uh, it's a girl, she's born, she's going to be born in October, and I use sheepish yarn, I think it's something how, I don't know what it was named, but it's what it looks like, it's brown, and then I needle felted a little bow, if you want me to do a tutorial on needle felting, please message me because I want to do something for you guys, so, it's really cute, I think it's really nice, and I hope, Pearl, that's her name, I hope she'll like it, so it's really nice, I, um, never really made a baby sweater before. I did make um, human sweaters before, like big people sweaters. So this was kind of fiddly at first with me, but then I just like, oh, what, whatever. So I just made it super easy. I made it in like three days or something easy. And then one last thing that I just finished are plain socks that I made for myself. See, I haven't weaved in the ends or blocked them yet. I do have my sock blocker, though, here with me. And so I knitted this on a size US2 and Knit Pick Stroll. This was my car knitting for, um, I was driving to Tucson. Um, well, I wasn't driving my uh, aunt was to Tucson to visit my other cousin and his two kids, so I got these done during the car ride. And so there's plain after thigh heel socks. Um, I cast on 32 stitches, did the after thigh heel waist strand thing, and then did a short cuff. I do like short cuffs in the summertime, but it does get winter time. Here, I do live in Nevada, so it does stays hot and like till like the middle of November, it's like crazy. So that's what that looks like. I really like, the color is kind of not my typical colors, so these might be going to someone else, so. I like them, I don't like them, I have to make up my mind. Okay, 
So that's it for finished objects. I think that's 10 minutes into the show already and I just talked about finished objects. So <laughs> let's get on to spinning. Um, so from last time I recorded, I was talking about spinning the roving from Joanne's in the gray. And I did finish that and I got um, 100 yards. So it's very nice. It's a two ply. I think it's maybe like a sport weight. I usually get fingering weight on everything. So. And before, I don't know if I told you this, but before I was a wheel spinner, I was a drop spindler. So when I do, when I first started spinning, I did know how to spin like draft and everything. But that's what it looks like. It's very nice, very soft. I didn't think that this roving will come out to be so soft, but it did. So, I like it. And then, I also know how to dye my own fiber, my own yarn. I just know how to basically do everything because I did teach myself everything. So, I did dye up some roving. This is, um, I think just merino. I don't know. I just found it somewhere in my yarn bins and I just dyed it and I dyed it with Kool-Aid because I don't use any acid dyes because I don't want myself to get sick, my new dog to get sick, which I am going to talk about that later. Anyone to get sick, I don't want, I don't still want anyone to get sick basically. And so I did dye this with Kool-Aid. I used the really um, like neon pink I use blackberry and I use strawberry, all the pink tones, and I also use purple. And I got 88 yards of a, I would say, fingering. So it's really pretty. I like it how it came out. I, I'm not usually a pink person, I, know, I don't have any pink clothes pink anything, but I do like how it came out, and this will probably be a um, monster or something. So. so that's what that looks like. And if you also want me to do a tutorial on dyeing, please message me as well. You can message me on Ralphrey, or you can just tell me in the uh, group. So, underneath this episode number. Okay, and I don't have a thing on the wheel right now, and if you're wondering, I do have a Fantasia Kromsky uh, spinning wheel, so if you're just wondering. Okay, next page. See, I have all these show notes. <laughs> I have two pages full. Okay, for sewing, my favorite part of the show, almost, besides knitting, um, I did make a bag. And this bag is supposed to be a wet bag. A wet bag is where you put is where you put your bathing suits in after you're done swimming, like in case you're at a hotel and you're leaving like in that afternoon or something. So this is a wet bag pattern I got offline. And it is I I did insert a zipper in. And as you can see it doesn't have any waterproof fabric inside. I didn't, um, I wasn't by a store at this time, so I didn't get any waterproof fabric, plus I didn't have any in my, um, big bin of fabric, so I just used plain old cotton fabric, and this is just like my rough draft, um, of a wet bag, so, and I really like this print of this fabric, it's really cute, I got it at, um, Joann's, like, for a dollar ninety-nine a yard or something. Because it's on sale. So it's really cute. I also got it in, in like a um, lavender color. Like with pastel colors in it. So it's really nice. I will be using this for my winter sweater. That I'm going to be knitting this year. So to store in. So I really like it. And this time when I did sew the zipper. I actually put it in correctly. So I, do, I did have trouble inserting zippers a while back ago, but I did finally figure out 
how to use it with the zipper foot and everything. So that's one thing in sewing. Um, the project bag that I store my wish in, the pattern and the project, I made this also, this project bag. That's, this is just my own simple pattern. It's not lined or anything, because I just need the project bag at that time, so I just sewed one up. So, I really like it. I usually line my bag so because I just like the extra um, thickness. So, that's another thing. Okay, now you see Lucy in the background, my mannequin. If you didn't know that, my mannequin is named Lucy. And I did explain that in episode 2, I think, so just watch that video if you want wonder why my mannequin's named Lucy, but let me stand up and show you what's on Lucy real quick. Okay, so I have been designing another pattern, and, and if you see this moving, it's because the fan is on in my room because it's really hot. So, what's on Lucy? So, I am designing a vest, and this vest... Um, it's very simple, it's just, I just pin the fabric onto Lucy, and I just cut it the way I wanted it. As you can see, it's a little, like, pointy at the bottom. And so it's very simple, it's, I am going to sew it up pretty soon. This is not the fabric that I'm not going to use for Lucy. Let me bend down here. This is not the fabric I'm going to use for Lucy. I am going to use a, um, like a silky type of material, like a silky cotton. And so I'm going to use that. And this is just my pattern, basically. And then on the back, that's what it looks like. It's like puckered in the back and stuff, and I just need to pin that in place. So it's super easy. Um, school is in right now, so I don't know when I'm going to get time to finish that best, but pretty soon, because I want to get it off of Lucy so I can start something new. Okay, another, um, but yeah, last thing for sewing. I love making fleece blankets for anyone. They're super easy and quick, so I just made a really cute Tinkerbell, um, fleece blanket, and this is for me. Like when I'm sitting on the couch or just in a car ride in case I get cold or something. Because I do travel a lot in the car. So I just made a fleece blanket and I did have this fleece for a while. So that's the last thing for sewing. Um, so what's next? Um, I am going to make a beaver pattern. I'm not designing it. It's on Ravelry. I don't know who it's by because I forgot. So I'm going to make a beaver and I did buy the yarn for it yesterday. And I usually do never buy Red Heart because I don't like Red Heart, but it's for someone that just, I, I don't know. It's for my brother, so he just probably just throw it on the floor anyways. So I just bought some tan Red Heart yarn. And this yarn is an okay yarn if you're making it for someone that doesn't really like wool or doesn't know how to take care of wool. So, and it's pretty, it's, it's really, it's gotten softer to me for some reason. So, this Red Heart yarn, like $2, it's very cheap. I also want to make a duck. So, I've been searching all these um, patterns on Ravelry, on like all these stuffed animals that I really want to make. So I want to make a duck. It's also by the same um, person that designed the beaver. I for totally forgot what their name was. I need to write down my notes. And then I also want to make Grumposaurus. Um, so Grumposaurus is a very cute little dinosaur. You can search on Ravelry too. And so I want to make that. And then for sewing, for what's next for sewing, is I want to make a laptop case. Because for my school, I have to work on a laptop. And so 
and I like going to the library to work on my homework because at my house this is way too noisy. And so I let me make a laptop case. And so that's basically it for what's next. So Oh, and also for sewing I forgot to mention is I um didn't make a little tutu. I had this tool in my um big bin of fabric and I did, and I just wanted to get rid of the tool. I like this was left over from the dress that I designed. This was left over from another dress that I made. And so I just wanted to get rid of it. And so what I do is I have a hat and it's up there, but I put it around the rim of my hat. So when I wear it, it's like that. So I'm just funky that way. So that's what I made. <coughs> So that's super easy to kind of make a tutu. Okie dokie. Um, so other stuff. This is going to be probably the longest segment of the show. So I'm just going to get right to it. Okay, so I know that there's a, um, like a little fun thing out there on Ralphie called Sock to Vote. Um, I did get a message from the person that's, I think, rolling Sock the Vote. And I did not participate in it because you have to buy the kit and everything, and so I didn't participate in it, and I really wanted to, but I just decided not to, so. You know how that goes. When you want to do something, then you don't want to do something, so I just decided not to do it. Um, again, school. School is I'm rolling now, so I am, it's going to be a very busy year this year in school, but I know how to get my work done, so there might be a little bit more changes into the show upcoming um, weeks because I have a lot of work to do, so I'll just message or just post, suppose, some rivalry about that. Um, summer. I did have a great summer this year. Um, I did enjoy everything that I did, um, so it was an awesome summer, but I did get sick twice this summer, but you know how that goes. When you have really great summers and then it just turns bleh, because when you get sick. Okay, another thing that I want to mention is the KAL ends today. Um, I did go on Ralphie and see the post of people's, um, finished objects. There was only one or two, so I, I'm i like, oh no, only one or two people, and there was going to be a lot of prizes. So, the people that did participate in the um, KAL, they are going to get a prize, because I appreciate them for participating. If you didn't participate, please do for the next KAL, because it's, I want to have a really fun time. So, Please um, participate in the next KL, but anyways, the people that did participate, they are going to get a prize for me. And the prize is a project bag, and maybe something in it, like a cupcake or a note for me, or something like that. And the project bag might be something like this, or another one, like, or something like this, like a zippered one. So... You get to choose or something. If you if you want to choose what type of bag you like, please message me. And I am and I am going to message the people that did participate in the KL. I'm letting them know that they are going to get a project bag for me, and they get to choose which one they would like. If they would like a zippered one, or they would like a drawstring one. So, and I get to pick out the fabric because I just want to. So. That's for the KL, and the KL pattern that we did for the month of July was the Simply Robertine by Megan Williams. And this is mine. I like it. It's super comfortable. I, I am going to make a bunch more for people for Christmas. Definitely my English teacher this year because she knows how to knit and stuff, so I might make her one of these. That's for the KL. Um, 
news. So that ends. So like again, I'm going to message the people that did participate in the KL, and you get to choose between a drawstring bag or a zipper bag. Okay, another um, story I have to tell you is Lucy. Now, a couple weeks ago, Lucy broke. And the way Lucy broke was I was working I was working on the vest pattern. I was pinning her. And when I stuck in the last pin to finish the design, her leg broke off. And I'm like, oh, great. And so I just brought out to the living room. I looked what was wrong with her. A screw came out, and the little part over the screw popped off. And so I had to get some super glue, which is right here. So I had to get some super glue, and I had to glue her leg back on. So I hope it's going to stay on. If it doesn't, I'm going to be very disappointed. But that's another story I have to say. So thank goodness she didn't break completely because that's how I make my designs on. Okay, um... I got a new dog. My brother got a new dog. Actually, it's his, but it's our sort of our family dog. Um, his name is Midnight. Uh, he's a golden doodle. And every time I say golden doodle, the people are like, what's the golden doodle? And a golden doodle is a half retriever, half poodle. And so he's completely black. He's, he has really curly ears. And right now he's in my brother's room um, laying down because he just got his hair cut, which he looks so cute in it, and um, plus we were playing with him this afternoon, so he's a very good dog, and he has humongous paws, so it's really cute. Um, I'll try to post a picture maybe, or just show him on the podcast, maybe in a couple weeks when he's, you know, not so hyper all the time. So, that's um, what I want to talk about, about Midnight. Um, so I think that's about it, and I had a great time talking to you guys again, um, but you know how life goes, it just sometimes you just can't record all the time, so thank you for understanding, and one last thing I want to show you is while I was in Tucson, I got a little souvenir, <laughs> it's a little road, road runner, so I don't know what to name him. If you have suggestions, you can always um, put them in this thread underneath this episode. But he has like a very flexible tail. <laughs> so, it's cute. Oh, and did I show this? If I did show this, I'm just kind of getting out there right now. But I did dye up some yarn a couple weeks ago. And it's very pretty. I got this yarn at Big Lots. And it's wool. I was surprised they sell wool at Big Logs, but it's blues, purples, grays in the way in here. So I really like it. I was going to make bot bites out of this, but I decided not to. But anyways, um, I hope to see you guys next week for another episode. If you have any questions, please PM me on Ravelry. If you like if you like to make suggestions about how the podcast can be better, please message me on Ravelry or put underneath this post or start a thread in the Ravelry group. And please um, just have a great time in our group. And please let people, please um, invite people to join the group because I would love to have good conversations in the group. So I hope to see you next week and I hope that I won't be too busy not to record, so again, have a great day, and if you have any questions, please ask me on Ralphie, so that's where you can contact me all the time, so I'll see you next week, and bye-bye.